Hi everyone, that was this side from Impromptu Gamer and welcome back to my channel. And we are playing Gotham Knights. In the last vlog, we defeated Mr. Freeze as he was about to take over the Gotham City, but we defeated him in time. I would say not in time because there were a lot of people that were dead. Yeah. And like always, we sent him to jail. We didn't kill him. So yeah. And right now we are following up on the missions and so if I will go to the case files currently we only have this we have to reach the iceberg launch so let's just go there and see what this game has in store for us yeah let's go to Gotham we have to go and meet Cobblepot that is the penguin so let's just go will be tight here. There must be a more bat-friendly entrance. We finally got to Iceberg launch. We saw that in the recent Batman movie with Robert Pattinson also, right? This was the same launch. So let's see how different is this penguin from the movie one. And this time it's Batgirl, not Batman. With his own profile, <laughs> these people live in a different world. It's in the back. Uh.
you want to go down this rabbit hole, you need to know there's no coming back from it. It's your dog. That doesn't scare me. I'm going to spell this out for you. With the bat gone, you're not worth my time. Get lost. Is she going to beat him? Hmm. Beat it. Worst offender list? What was that? <laughs> okay, Bruce Wayne was one of them. Belfry, Penguin isn't feeling helpful. Whatever he knows or doesn't, he won't tell. There's new data on the evidence board. What is this info? Uh, is... Authorities have finally... Penguin refused to talk. It's like he doesn't take us seriously. You may be surprised to learn Batman struggled with similar challenges early in his career. So for a time, he focused his energies elsewhere in the city. When word of his work got out, people were more inclined to cooperate. The city. We've been so preoccupied with Batman's last case, we've neglected the rest of Gotham. Gotham may not know Batman is gone, but it certainly feels his absence. There has been a marked increase in gang-related crime. Not to mention Oswald's own business dealings. Maybe if we mess with those, plus a few other crimes, he'll feel like talking. You've also received messages from Lucius Fox and Detective Montoya. They may be able to help. Okay. Thanks, Alfred. Let's talk to them. Guess sometimes I need to look at things through Batman's eyes. Funny, he used to say the same thing about Batgirl. An encrypted message from Fox Tecker. It's Lucius. Sorry I've been a ghost since the funeral, but I just realized I forgot to send flowers. If you're ever in the neighborhood, let's meet in my building. I'd like to give you them in person. Okay. Lucius Fox wants to give us flowers. Does he know couriers exist? Knowing Lucius, I suspect he has something far more useful for us. When you reach Fox Decker, head straight to the roof. Let's exit Belfry at Petrol to Gotham City.
Let's see much what Mr. Falk has to say. No place like it, is there, Mr. Fox? <laughs> you trying to give me another heart attack? Batman taught you everything, huh? Just the important things. Sneaking up on your allies, for one. But not how he managed to be in five places at once. I feel like if I look away, everything turns to chaos. You're getting there. The bat doesn't fall far from the belfry. From what I've seen, anyway. Um, thank you? Don't thank me yet. The mentor and I always knew that something like this could happen. When I left Wayne Tech, we kept some research going. There are a lot of eyes on you now. No one's looking at Fox Tekka. As long as I get a breath between the guilds, you'll still have everything you need to carry on Batman's legacy. Speaking of which... Oh, that's These cool. flowers are gorgeous. It's Luke's design. A custom bird to help you get around a little quicker. Hefty enough to support exactly one hero. With this? The sky really is the limit. Now you can thank me. Thank you so much, Mr. Fox. This is nice. Over here. I'm dying to try this baby out. How do I start? You're getting ahead of yourself. Before you can use the bird, you'll have to clear a path for it. Whatever I need to do. Lately, the GCPD is not content to have jackboots on the ground. They've launched a network of surveillance drones to patrol the skies. Okay. If they're looking for you when you try to get airborne... They won't hesitate to take me down. What do you recommend? A, a creative programmer could convince those drones to overlook certain targets. But for that to work, close-up scans will be required. For once, I'm not the one who has to handle the programming. I'll get you those scans, Mr. Fox. The well, cops have the city divided into sectors, with a set of drones watching over each one. Until you scan all the drones in a sector, consider it a no-fly zone. No flying until the surveillance drones are taken care of? No problem. I'll send you the location of the first one, so you can get to work. Okay, we have to do these three missions to make come penguin or to make penguin fall in life. Ah, screw 
Take that. Got it. Where is that second deal happening?
will have to improvise. Turn the package! Here we go! This thing needs to get somewhere cold fast. Dr. Tompkins is on her way to the drop site. Meet with her and she'll handle it. I'm kidding. Come here. Dr. Tompkins, thanks for taking my call. No. Oh, Nothing surprises me anymore with these gangs. Thanks for the delivery. I've got a medical team lined up who can use it. Just happy it got here in time. Now, as a final thing for... Just got interesting. That girl. Not the bad I was expecting to see, but if he trusts you, so will I. Okay. Likewise. I assume you've got something in mind. Fill me in. Well, since we lost Gordon, some cops are back to playing dirty again. Kane doesn't like it, but she's not doing much to stop it either. So I've heard. She's not half the commissioner he was. Yep. I know Batman was helping Gordon clean up the force. But now any cops who used to be on Gordon's team are getting their asses handed to them. The gangs are ambushing them because they won't take bribes, and dispatchers are giving them the worst assignments because they make trouble for everyone else. Hoping the gangs will do their dirty work for them, that's... horrible. Look, I hate to ask, but can you keep an eye on cops when they're facing off against the gangs? Yep. I know a lot of my fellow officers have issues with vigilantes, but they need the help. 
Helping is what I do. And those who actually care about Gotham will hopefully see that we're on the same side. Thanks. I'll try to get you some resources to help you protect everyone in Gotham, not just us. Sounds good to me. Belfry, if this isn't enough to convince Penguin, nothing will. Be careful. Mr. Cobblepot's not known for doing anything altruistically. What's this? Okay, this is his... this is his father's memory. Not a good way to dress. Here. What's a gal like you doing in a place like this? Same as you. Visiting an old friend. I keep waiting for him to step down and, I don't know, give some inspiring speech. Tell us to get back to work. Jesus, Jim. You would have hated this. They put you on an actual damn pedestal. Maybe he'd understand. They always said people needed symbols. Something to believe in. Yeah, but we both know he meant you, Bats. <sighs> Not him. Except with a squared up jawline and better glasses. They changed his face? Yeah, it's hard to tell from here, but it looks nothing like him. We had him back. Yeah. Me too. See you later, Jim. That girl. Montaya seems to be a nice person. He looks just like I remember. That was a blog, and uh, we'll meet uh, Cobblepot in the next vlog. So yeah, stay tuned and keep watching. Thanks for watching.